YouTube. A uh, quick update on things. Uh, you probably saw on Instagram and the other social medias that uh, me and the rest of the Rambunctious Squadron, we did the North Coast 500 last week and it was absolutely epic. Um, yes, there will be videos from that. There's just a lot of, there's a lot of video to edit. So uh, yeah, I am in the process of editing that. I'm not sure how long it'll be before we start to see any of them videos ready and on YouTube. Not sure yet, but so uh, yeah, there's lots of editing to do. So yeah, uh, trust me, I'm working on it. Uh, today we're going, well, a bit later on today, we're going to go over to bike night at uh, 1066. Uh, but first, right now, we need to go get some new tires on the Tiger because uh, yeah, the North Coast 500 kind of finished, uh, finished these tires off. And they've still got a bit of life left on them. We'll probably get away with it for a few more weeks if I we really wanted to. But uh, this weekend is the Distinguished Gentleman's Ride and I'm doing the Leicester one. So uh, I've got another sort of uh, load of miles to do this weekend. So I didn't really want to do it on on these tyres. Because, yeah, they've got enough tread left, but the rear is very squared off now. But, yeah, I'd rather get some new ones fitted and uh, just have that better peace of mind knowing uh, it's fresh rubber. So, uh, yeah, we're off to Billy's Motorcycles to get fitted. They're going to put some PR6s on. So, uh, yeah, we'll see what they're like. They're supposed to be... I mean, the PR5s, well, all the pilot roads, are, like, exceptional in the wet uh, for general road and all-round use sort of thing. All-round road use, uh, I think, is uh, probably the best term to describe them. Uh, yeah, they're, they're just very grippy in, all, in most conditions. Uh, and, yeah, the pilot road 6s are supposed to be even more grippier in the wet compared to the PR5s so uh, yeah we'll see what they're like on the next rainy day right we're almost there we've just got to get through a little bit of Pulborough and uh, the, uh, the tr we've got a trench run to do you'll see in a minute yeah I can't remember the last what the last mileage count was when I had the current tyres put on although it was a bit mixed actually because I only did a, um, a scattered it I, did, uh, I staggered it I did, a, I did a front and a rear when they needed doing rather than getting a pair on which uh, has helped, I think, with the longevity, and now they're both kind of almost equally worn down now, so, uh, yeah, it's time for a pair. But, yeah, th this bike's done, I think, on, what, 64,000 miles, I want to say? Okay, Lock S4's in attack position. Get ready to start your run. I mean, it'll look much better if there wasn't a pile of cars in front of me, but this, does this just not remind you of the Death Star Trench run from Star Wars? And the purpose of this is because uh, at Christmas or New Year, all that, all that land there, um, there was a landslip. It all slipped, in, slipped down into the road and uh, nobody wanted to do anything about it. So um, it's just been stuck like that for months. And it's only in the last few weeks they've put up them concrete, um, giant concrete Lego bricks, effectively, uh, to hold the land back and open up the road again. Uh, but no, there's an ongoing dispute between the highways agency and uh, the person whose land it is and who's responsible for it, so, <laughs> yeah. And here we are. Alright, PR6s, there we are, look at that. See how long these last. <laughs> Actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to reset my trip number two counter and see. Nearly 4,000 miles since I reset trip two, but I can't remember what I reset that for. So let's reset it now. Trip two has been reset, new tyres. Actually, let's leave it on there so we can see when we've done the, the scrubbing in period. That's made the bike taller. <laughs> okay. Fresh tyres. Let's take it easy. We'll scrub them in on the way over to uh, 1066. Oh, it turns. The bike turns now. <laughs> you can't beat the feeling of fresh fresh new tyres. I remember that the first time I got new tyres, I'm sure it was one of the uh, GPZs for sure, when that had new tyres on it, it was like a completely different bike. 
and I, it just felt like cornering was really I was really nervous around the corners because because of how easy it was to tip in I didn't want to overdo it by mistake <laughs> but yeah now it's kind of like oh yeah you just know what to do it's fine right um, let's cut skip ahead to um, get getting on the way over to 1066 Okay, so far so good. 52 miles on the counter. Tires are scrubbing nicely. Oh, good. Oh, this bit nearly ca usually catches me out. Not this time. This is the A272. It's a really lovely evening. Uh, oh, uh, <laughs> I say I had to be going under the shade of the trees, and I can't see all the poles. I'm pretty sure there was a bad section just back there of just <laughs> really bumpy road. Luckily, I was in the middle, where it doesn't seem to be affected. So yeah, it should be a good evening. There sh should be some bands on, I think. Uh, and there's obviously going to be food from the cafe, and uh, Conqueror's Apparel are going to be open, and I've got a few bits to buy, so I'll be doing some uh, late evening shopping. So yeah, let's see, what, uh, let's see what's going on when we get there. Right, here we are. It's a long ride out here for me. <laughs> I don't mind coming over. It's good at moss and all that. You can get parking assistance here. Ah. Yeah. You want to find that back with a camera in it? I thought that, yeah. Yeah, I need to get a yeah, little pin old camera or something to put in there. Yeah. <laughs> right, it's time to head home. 20 past 8, let's see what time I'm going to actually get home. It's going to be dark, I think. Ah, R2-D2 getting some attention <laughs> on the top box. Awesome. Well, that was a good evening. I've been shopping. I bought some new uh, cargo trousers for riding in which are much more comfortable than my hood jeans. I like my hood jeans, don't get me wrong, they're brilliant, but these are just, yeah, they're so much more comfortable. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, well, I'll we'll see how I get on with them now. I'll do it on. Well, ten past ten, nearly home. It did get dark indeed. Yeah, I'm about five minutes away. That'll do. 